So I am speaking to you from a mere peset. That's the Hebrew word for balcony. Uh, and thinking of this week's Parsha, Toldot. Rebecca feels Jacob and Esau struggling in her womb. And then she offers this famous line. It's a question, really. She says, Im ken, if it is so, if this is my reality, lama ze anochi, literally, why am I? In other words, if I have this intense struggle inside of me, why do I even exist? What's the point? This week's Torah portion, and really the entire narrative surrounding this biblical family is one of incredible turmoil and divisiveness, much like the reality we see in the world that surrounds us today whether we're looking at the national or global or maybe even the personal arena. As we witness fractures and pain, we too might be prompted to ask, just as Rivka did, Im ken, lama ze anochi? If it's so hard, why am I here? So I choose to speak to you from this Samir Peset because I think that Israel itself, where the struggles run so deep, offers a beautiful answer to Rebecca's question. Think of Israel's national anthem, Ha Tikva. The word Tikva, of course, means hope. And embedded in the Hebrew word for hope is another word. The Kuf and the Vav together spell Kav, which means line. As Jews, our response to despair to unanswerable questions, to challenges and struggles that come from within, as with Rebecca or from beyond, or maybe a little bit of both, is the kav, the line, the line of connection. Through the kav, we create tikva, hope. We do this through lines that connect us to our neighbors, to our community, to reality in all of its complexity. This week, the week of Toldot, we are challenged to remember that even with their struggles, Jacob and Esau, they were connected inside their mother's womb. I will close with the words of Rabbi Jonathan Sachs of blessed memory, whose yurt site we just observed. He wrote, quote, to be a Jew is to be an agent of hope in a world serially threatened by despair. This week, may each of us in our own way remember that to hope is not to hide. May we think of Rebecca in her struggle and continue to have the courage to draw lines of connection between ourselves and reality as it is, between ourselves and our neighbors, maybe even those with whom we disagree or those who have a different story than our own. But even more importantly, may we hold on to Tikva by building a kav, casting off a line. Picture a fly fisherman, that thin, thin little line that can catch something magical. May we be able to connect ourselves between the world as it is today and the world as it could be but between the people we are at this moment and the people whom we can become. Wishing you a week of connection and a week of hope.